water rescue caught on camera and a successful splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Here's tonight's weather spotlight. Is there somebody in there? Yes. We begin with a harrowing rescue out of Florida, where heroic police officers rushed to the aid of a motorist who was completely trapped in rising water. When the officer in Port Orange, Florida arrived on the scene, he quickly waited into action. In less than a minute, two responding officers broke the car windows in an effort to get the women out of the car as water continued to gush in. Eventually, they were able to pull the motorist from the car, and luckily, no one was injured. Speaking of rising waters, this was the scene in Boston as the king tides continue to flood certain streets around the Boston area. The term king tides refer to the highest astronomical tides of the year. Tides are at the highest this week at 12 feet and will remain that way throughout the weekend. Speaking of heavy rain, it's monsoon season in portion of Southern Asia. Several inches of rain falling over a short period, causing issues all over the country. Several people are confirmed dead and hundreds of houses have been destroyed. The bad news, more heavy rain is in the forecast. Staying in India, it wasn't rain causing reduced visibilities, but thick smog. Take a look at the iconic Taj Mahal as it's surrounded by heavy pollution. Authorities say the smog was primarily caused by banned burning, as well as fireworks that were illegally set off to celebrate Diwali, which is the Hindu festival of lights. And let's move up the continent to China, where one heck of a snowstorm is causing some major issues. Schools, airports, public transportation all shut down as authorities work to clear the several inches of snow that were accompanied by heavy winds. And finally, welcome home. Better and more efficient with each mission. A SpaceX capsule made its way back to Earth this morning after spending nearly 200 days in space. Four astronauts strapped inside the capsule splashed down safely in the Gulf of Mexico capping a six-month NASA mission aboard the International Space Station. And after a nine-year hiatus, this marks the second operational space station team that NASA has launched aboard a SpaceX capsule. I'm Mark Zinn, and this was the Weather Spotlight. Well, thank you, Mark Zinn, our weather friend. That's a great report.